So and remember, as we are starting this discussion, if you have any questions, comments, or any input, you can tweet us at Citizen TV Kenya at Joey underscore Muthengi at Willis Raburu using the hashtag 10 over 10. I've got a question for you watching and everyone here as well. When is the last time that you went to get checked and knew your HIV status? Think about that. And as you do, we're going to tell you more about the HIV self-testing kits that are now in the Kenyan market. Whether you've uh, used them, whether you've bought them, whether you've heard about them, we've got a lot more information about them and we'll be doing some live demonstrations here as well. So I've got a panel of experts that are going to break everything down. If you have questions, some of the misconceptions you might have, some of the myths associated with these tests, uh, we'll break that down. So I'm going to have uh, our guests go ahead and uh, introduce themselves, tell us a little bit about what they do, uh, and then we'll get started. We'll start right here. Hi, everyone. Hi. My name is Suzy Kimani. I work for PS Kenya, Population Services Kenya. I'm the senior manager for HIV prevention, and um, we're part of this team that is leading HIV self-testing in Kenya. All right, Karibu Sana, make some noise for her. Abarizeni. My name is Andrew Juma and I work with Susan at PS Kenya. I'm the HIV and tuberculosis communications manager. So I handle basically all the demand creation activities for HIV in Kenya. Okay, Karibu Sana, give him a hand. Last but not least, no stranger to the show. <laughs> What's up guys? Mambo. Uh, my name is Queen Gadoni. I'm an influencer for Nadijua for sure. All right. So let's 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 start with you, Queen Gadoni. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about the campaign. We've seen maybe some posts on social media. We've seen people talking about these things. But what exactly has been your involvement in that campaign? Uh, my involvement has been um, basically telling people the importance of testing themselves and the importance of knowing their status. Unfortunately, very many young people fear pregnancy more than they fear disease. Which I, I, it's very important for us to know that uh, we need to know our status for, for our own benefit because good health really is wealth. Right. Yes. Uh, so let's start with, with these, uh, talking about the kids themselves. We've heard they're available in the market. What does that mean? Where are they available? At what cost? Maybe you guys can answer those questions. Joe, you know the funny thing is, I've just come back from Turkana, and even up in Turkana, they're talking about these kits. So there has been, I guess, general awareness. People have been hearing about it through the grapevine. But what I'm here to tell them is that they're available in private pharmacies and select facilities at the moment in Nairobi and Mombasa, and walk in there, ask for the kit. If they don't have it, they know where to get it from, from, e from PS Kenya or from our distributors. So it's available. Go out there as a young person, demand it, because it's your right to know your status and to make healthy life choices. Yeah. How much are these kits? And yes. maybe you can tell us the two different variations. Okay, so uh, at PS Kenya, we are retailing the, the, the currently approved versions of HIV self-testing in Kenya. So it's the oral self-test and the, and the blood kit. And the oral self-test is called OraQuick, and the blood test is ENSTI. So currently, if you go to the pharmacy, you'll access the kit at 500 shillings. And uh, for adolescents and young people from 15 to age 24, you access the kit at 200 shillings. Okay, awesome. Gadani, what have been some of the responses that you've seen as an influencer uh, as part of the Be Sure uh, initiative? Are, are, are young people into this? Are they testing themselves? Are they not? What's happening? So far, I can say it has been 50-50. There are people who are scared of uh, just testing at home. There are also people who are scared of going to a health center or a healthcare facility because when you go to a healthcare facility, there are all these questions that almost seem d judgmental. So uh, how many partners do you have? When is the last time you had sex? And all these things. So you, you already shut down. But when you have the kit at the comfort of your home, it's easy for you to just test. And if, if you feel like you, you can test uh, when you are alone, if you, you, you don't feel confident enough, you can call someone who you're close to or you're confident, and they can be there as you test. And it's, it's really easy. It just takes 20 minutes. Right. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. And 
you know, when we're doing when we're doing the design phase of this project, what young people told us is, "I'm not time here on Ukweli." Young people are also busy. They're on the hustle. They're on the grind. <laughs> so this kit, you can test for yourself at home. Know the results for yourself. Now there's the 1190 number. It's free to call. And the importance of that number is it connects you to a counselor. Because young people also told us, okay, it's good enough for me to know my status at home. Great. What if I need to speak to someone either before or even during the test or after? So that counseling service, pick up your phone, dial 1190, connect. You know, we're also launching on Facebook a chatbot. So if you do not want to speak to someone, log on to Facebook, the Be Self Show website, the homepage rather, and connect to the chatbot and get the same level of support and aftercare. Yeah. I want to just take a quick uh, survey here in the audience. How many of you have used these HIV self-testing kits? I think Joy, 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 yes. I think we should start from how many people know their status. Yeah. Okay, how about that? Okay, within the last three months. Within the last three months. Uh, how many have, have seen these te uh, self-testing kits in, at the chemist? Do you know how they work? Okay, we're going to do a demonstration. What do you do? Jali, we got you. There's been a question of accuracy. People are saying, what if I test and gives me false results? Like, what's the level of accuracy? So, uh, it's important to know that this, this, um, this self-test kits are pretty accurate. But it is important also to remember <laughs> that uh, so they're 99.9% .9 accurate. But any positive test must be the person must go for further testing. So you go to the facility uh, or a clinic and you undergo the usual testing services done by a qualified uh, HIV self-testing, a HIV testing service provider. Yeah. All right, so I think we're going to, you're going to move with me to the front. Uh, we have a volunteer uh, who we're going to meet just, just now and we're going to do a live demonstration. We've got more kids, guys, don't worry about it. So if we just come here, we'll have, uh, can you just come right next to me here so we can share a microphone uh, and you can tell us your name. My name is Roberta Bobby. Uh, I'm a student and, uh, and an erotic blogger. Erotic blogger? Tell us more. And I'm also working with BLAST, which is with affiliation with HIV and matters to do with that. So you're passionate about people knowing their status? And yeah, very passionate about people being aware of HIV, the consequences of sex, and everything to do with that. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, welcome to 10 over 10. Uh, Susie, go ahead and, and take us through the different types here. Yeah, so Joey, here we have uh, the two tests, like we mentioned. We have the, the Insti HIV self-testing kit, which is a blood-based kit, and we have the OroQuick test. The test kit, it's an oral test. Okay. So which one will be which one will be taking? I think she'll do the oral one. Mm -hmm. That that's the twenty minute one. Yes. And I'll do the blood. I'm not okay. scared of blood, so we can do that one. Awesome. All right. So there you go. Yeah. All right. We can hold Okay, I'm the one who's gonna open it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so this is the oral quick uh, HIV self test. Yes. This Got. Is oral. This is the yes. blood one. This is the blood one. Yes. Okay, all right, That's this is the blood one. Insti blood kit. Okay. So you need to open the pack mm -hmm. and just put everything on a flat surface. Okay. See what we have here. Remember that uh, this is a do-it-yourself kind of a test, mm -hmm. so you must read the manufacturer's instructions. Okay. Here, and hold, um, hold the microphone for you. Yeah. So you must read the manufacturer's instructions, but because of time, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll help you take, uh, okay. take you through it. Okay. So here you have the test kit membrane, mm -hmm. and this is where you're going to read the result. Mm -hmm. This is uh, an elastoplast because mm -hmm. you're going to prick yourself. Okay. This is the, the lancet, which is a pricker. And these bottles mm -hmm. are uh, dillions, which are labeled one, two, three, and I'll take you through how to how to conduct the test with them. Okay. So, so can we get started? Yes, All let's right. get started. So open the... So I open this? Yeah. Uh, look, look, look for where it's, it's showing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This, oh, this yeah. Side. This side. Okay. All right. It's a bit tight. Uh, it's a bit tight. It's tight. I'm working on it. Hey, what's going on? I'm going to say it. 
<laughs> All right. So, so as we're opening that, as yes. Susie mentioned, these uh, are the instructions yes, as well. The instructions are there, and they're in English and Swahili. <laughs> okay. Joey, you want? You okay. Want English or Swahili? Uh, no, let's don't. do. Let's do English. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I just didn't do that. It's okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but you. Uh, yeah. So let's just open. remove it. Yeah. So we have it now. So we have it now. Okay. So this is the the test membrane. Okay. Um. So, um. Just look at these instructions. Mm -hmm. Step one. What is step one saying? Open the test device pouch. Mm -hmm. Place test device on a flat surface. Mm -hmm. uh, number three. Remove cap of bottle one. Place on flat surface. Do uh, it. Do. That's the preparation part. Yes, yes. Okay, so now we twist off tip and put aside. Mm -hmm. So that's this. Mm -hmm. Okay. This twist on tube, twist, and put it aside. Okay. Okay. And then you rub your finger until warm, okay. the middle finger, because you're supposed to get a whole uh, drop of blood. Mm -hmm. All right. In the meantime, I'll, I'll open this for you. Okay. The, the number one. Do you think you've rubbed enough? I think I'm okay. You're okay? Yes. <laughs> so you will prick yourself All right, right at, the, on the, at the end. Using and this? Yes. Okay. And no, this. This. Oh, this, this, sorry. This. And, I don't and, and, and so, <laughs> hang on. So you'll prick yourself until you hear a, a click. Yes. So you uh -huh. have to use a bit of force. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Let's do it. All right. Here we go. Come on. So I just press. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So, okay. first make a make a hole, um, make a hole drop, so that then you you land the drop onto this. Where do I land the drop? On this solution. And don't scrape. Scrape is you see. Don't scrape. Just let it land slowly, okay. slowly. You may have to press a bit harder. Do I need assistance? What's going on? What's it? Continue. Almost. Don't shake. Oh gosh. Joy, make sure this it's is more difficult than make I sure thought it's it was going to be. Has it dropped? Did you? Yes. Did it drop? Did it drop? Has anyone no, seen no, what's going it on? It hasn't dropped. How do I do this? You, you still. But it's, it's, almost, it's, almost, it's almost, it's almost, it's almost, just continue. <laughs> yeah, so as Joey is doing that, I'll open for her her bandage. Oh my gosh, where's my blood? <laughs> Atinukula fruits. Almost. Wow. Maybe I didn't prick myself enough. But you had the tongue. God, just drop. Is it? Did it manage? Yeah. Awesome. It yes. <laughs> it dropped. So here you are. Okay. Um, use the bandage to okay. just wrap yourself. Okay. Here you go. Open it up. Don't worry, I got you. Yeah. Whew. All right. Yeah. So it's a do-it-yourself test. I have test. so much blood. Awesome. Do I put more? I no, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. It's over. All right. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, all right. What's next? Tissue. So, uh, close the close the cup. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Here, use the tissue. Uh huh. Here go. So you you have to shake four times, not like okay. this. Just one, mm. two. Okay. Let's okay. go. One, two, three, four. So open and pour that in here. <laughs> Slowly, slowly. Awesome. So you'll wait until it, it, it just um, it dissolves. You okay. see, it's dissolved. Yeah. So take number two. Shake uh, four times again. One, two, three, four. 
So then uh, pour it. It, it. This one's a little tough maybe to go in. Just if it's not coming out, just tap a bit at the back. Okay. There you go. Pole, pole. All right, so that's going so to it's dissolve dissolving. as well. And then you take number three. You see the, the label, yeah? Yeah. So take number three. Mm -hmm. uh, shake again four times. One, two, three, four. And we pour that in as and well. Pour it in there. Okay. <laughs> awesome. So um, as 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 this, the solution is dissolving, mm -hmm. uh, Joey, these mm -hmm. are the this is how you interpret your results. Okay. So you can just look at it. Maybe you can just read yeah. this. Okay. So this is a uh, step three, reading the results. Yeah. One dot is negative, but that means that you're going to have to test again in three months. Uh, we have let's see, two dots. Is that correct? Yes. That means it's positive. Uh, and then no, we have an invalid when mm -hmm. nothing is showing. And then uh, for both of those last two options, you should go to the clinic. Yeah. This is going to take a couple of minutes. Uh, it's almost coming through, but it's, it, this, this test is, is fast. Within five minutes, you okay. already get your result. Okay. You can already even see. Okay. Um, I can't faint, see. A faint. <laughs> it's very faint. It's very faint, it's, yeah, but uh -huh. you can see. They say even if it's just a faint one. Okay. Yeah. It's Ningapi. <laughs> it's one dot. I'm okay. I think we got to to Kwanda Uko. It's one dot. Yeah. So when you're done, uh -huh. you're supposed to pick all these things mm -hmm. and put them into the test pack and throw them into the dustbin. Okay, so, so just pack everything that you used. That we used and we're yeah. going to throw that yes, in. Yes, then we now go I to the other. I think that's why it's a uh, good thing. Like you can see it's faint, but you can still see the, you can see the con on the control. Yeah. There's, there's, there's one dot. Okay. Yes, I can see that. Can so we go ahead and um, open up the, 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 the other yeah. pouch? So let's, let's discard this. So let's take... So Roberta is going to do the the oral test kit. So again, Roberta, you do the same thing. So pick yeah. the kit. All right, I'll hold the microphone for you this yeah. time. So that's the, this is the oral test kit. So you just tear. And for this one, I don't think we're going to wait for results because yeah. of time. It, uh, but we'll but just, just go through she'll the, just demonstrate. Yeah, demonstrate the process. Yeah. So those of you who don't have blood like me. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> So, um, so of course you put the the the, the test um, instructions yeah. with you. You should have read them before, but because of time, so you'll open that. And I understand you shouldn't have eaten anything or drank yes. anything for a few minutes. Yes. So for for this kit, you shouldn't have uh, eaten for in fifteen uh, fifteen minutes. So you should have eaten. You should not use a kit after you've eaten. Okay. Yeah, I should wait for at least 15 minutes. Yeah. All right, so what do you have here? So you have, so, so this, is, this is a test pad, which you're going to use to swap. Just hang on. And uh, this, is the, this is the deliant uh, where we're going to insert the test pad. And this is a stand. And this is just a desiccant, which you shouldn't use uh, during the testing. Okay. So uh, we'll need you to, to put it on the stand because uh, you're going to put this inside. So let me hold this for you. So open the lid or, or stand it first. Stand it first and open. Yeah. Pony, pony. Excellent. Yeah. All right, so yeah, show so us the, the swab. So you, so the, the thing is you swab the gum up and down. Let's go. Once. Awesome. Then you put it into the solution. And for this test, you must use a timer. So you take, it takes 20 minutes. You should not read it uh, after 40 minutes. You should read the test immediately after 20 minutes. Uh, in 20 minutes, not, long, not more than that. Have you used these kits before? Yes, I have. Okay. Which one did you use? I used the prick one. The prick one. Yeah, it's faster. <laughs> Nobody wants to wait yeah. 20 minutes praying to God and, exactly. you know, all these types of things. Uh, so because of time, yeah. I think we're going to head back to the stage. Yes. Thank you so much uh, for, for helping with this demonstration, Roberta. Uh, we're going to head back to the stage, continue the discussion, and take a couple of uh, questions as we do so. All right. All right, guys.
When you're on a maswali, who has questions right now? How about we start there? Who has questions? Who come 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 step up? I can't. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, um, I have a question. Okay, my name is Humphrey Zeko. I'm a student. Okay, and I like entertainment. Now, okay, about what you're teaching us is good, but I have one question. Now, when you're segmenting your target market to reaching out to the population, now, do you specify your, your target or you just go generally to the people out there? Okay. This past month, thanks for the question. This past month, I've been all over Kenya meeting with young people. And the thing I've realized is whether you are in Kitale, partying at Club Epic, you're in B Club, Kiza, wherever you are, young people are the same. They want to be with their peers, they want to have fun, and they do not want to be judged. Now, the kid responds to that. We're not judging you, we're not pressurizing you, we're not telling you don't have premarital sex. What we're saying is live your life but just know your status because it's not just about you it's about your friends the person you live next to and it's about kenya uh Gadoni, are there any like sort of misconceptions or myths that you've come across as you're advocating for this campaign that young people have about testing for hiv uh, first uh, the first uh, thing that happened when this campaign was launched was like a shock of yo i can actually do this at home then there was the uh, fear of uh, using the, the insti and how people dispose it and uh, can it make someone else sick. So the, there's been a back and forth of that. But also there has also been a comfort knowing that I can do this at home without being judged by anyone. Also, I think it's very important for the people here to know that uh, even if you're in a relationship, no one should force you to test yourself. Even in law, it's wrong. Absolutely. Yeah, so um, it's it's up to you. you. Decide, I want to test myself, then I do it's it. A personal decision. Yes. All right, I'm gonna take another question. Who else had a question? I come. Hi, guys. Mine ito bena. Jamao kayole. Okay, nilikuwa nita wakulizaje. As in taking the, those further measurements, as in if you have a partner, that partner take that test and find negative, and you are just like on your side. Is it positive? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's like this. Niko hivi, mimi, tuseme niko na mama. Okay, niende ni pimwe, sijui status yake. Nona? Mini patika nesina. What about her? She saved through me. Bena, hiyo ni shida ya boy child. <laughs> My boy child, wanambia dem, we, we enda utest. Ukua negative, pia mini ko negative. <laughs> Apana, and a two It doesn't work tests. like that. Kill them too individually. Also, also, I think it's also very important for us to realize, uh, like uh, uh, people get in relationships, especially young people, and you get fond of each other, and you you just uh, throw caution to the wind, and you start having unprotected sex without even getting tested. I think it's very important before you engage sexually to have that conversation with your partner and agree that yes, I'm going to test, um, I'm negative, I'm positive, this is the way forward. And always, when you test and whatever result you get, if you if you get a positive result, you can call the toll free number which is 1190. It's free. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of people have been worried about like counseling services, they're saying, could you test home and could go positive and I've fainted and you know, there's no one there to, to talk to me or take me through the next steps. Uh, did we have another question the, from the ladies? Okay, step on up. I'm Nito Gris, kutoka Kaele. Nilikuwa na uliza. Kama tseme umedoz na boy wako. Alafu. Alafu. Umedoz na boy wako. Alafu, maybe tseme alikuwa na ukedi. Alafu, mimi, 
nilikuwa sikuwa na ukimwi so nilalena ile alafu kesho niende usini pimwe alafu nianze kumeza madawa is it possible naweza pona ama nakufa tu hivyo na It is a valid question. Hey. I don't know who wants to tackle that one. Yes. Okay, so, I should go ahead. In that situation, within 72 hours, go to the hospital, ask for PEP, post exposure prophylaxis. It will it will help reduce the chances of you turning HIV positive. But 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 boy child, boy child, go journey. Musitoke hapa muende nje mseme Andrew alisema tunaenda dry fry hapana 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 ah mwache hii mambo ya hunyama hunyama eh humundu humbundu hapana sasa use a condom before you have unprotected sex test yourself enda chemist nunua kit test yourself ujijue After that you guys can both sort it out. Okay. I right, go ahead. Yeah, because you know uh pep, pep are still ARVs. Yeah? And you can avoid all that uh if you just took your test before having, you know, going into the uh, Okay, do you want to add something? I take it every uh, take uh, have the test every three months. Every three months. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else from this side had a question? This side ndio mkona maswali. Nani mwingine hapa? Ha? Naitwa Arturo. Sana uliza kama kuna dawa za ku prevent HIV. Eh, kuna dawa ina inaitwa HIV test ujijue <laughs> like, like in all seriousness there is for high, at high risk people there is pre exposure prophylaxis prep and there's also the campaign i'm sure you guys have seen it jipende prep so it's like to put it simply this is not the medically correct way of saying it but to put it simply it's like going on ARVs before you're infected so if you're negative and you remain at risk you get enrolled in the course of prep and it's a pill that you take every day it is not 100% but it greatly reduces your chances of turning hiv positive okay all right i'm being told we're just out of time here so we're, i'm going to take final yes. comments uh, in, from each of you we'll start here and just go down the line um, um, thank you joy for having us here uh, i really would like to urge the young people to know your status and now that the kit has been reduced the price is, is affordable the government is launching uh, coming june please know your status and let's keep the infections at bay thank you all right next my final comment i'll just like to quickly invite one guy and and one lady on the stage to tell us why it's important to know themselves because I don't want to sit here and talk at the youth. I want them to to talk with us. So Okay, so do we have volunteers on stage? We have a lady. Great. <laughs> we'll start with the lady. Ladies first. Go ahead. So just tell us in a few words why it's important kujijua. Um Maybe in future okay ukisha maybe okay ni poa kujua because of your generation yeah okay boy child uh -huh. <laughs> okay to me it's important to you know <laughs> okay let me start Okay it's important to know yourself because uh, to protect the people you care about eg if you're dating and the future generation Amen <laughs> That's a good one Thank you thank you thank you thank you yeah. thank you I I think they both deserve take home kits so they they can know their status Can we get kits for them <laughs> Do you have some kits huh? available We'll yeah. get some kits for them 
Okay. Oh, they brought you brought a lot of kids. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll get we'll get those for you, for, for for you guys later. All right. Kadoni, final comments. Um, I I want to emphasize that Najijua uh, Fushua is not just about testing yourself. It's about knowing who you are as a person, where you're headed. So even as you as you take your self test kits home today and you test yourself also think about yourself who am i where am i going i am negative uh what does that mean for me for my health i am positive what does that mean for me for my health for my partner it's all that okay all right i want you guys to uh make some noise for our panel today they've been amazing very educational and very, very informative. Thank you so much. Like they said, uh, they'll be distributing some of the kits that they brought with them. But the more, the more what you want? Eh? Unataka kit? Sawa. Fanyanini? Chill, kidogo. We're going to cross over to the other uh, studio. We've got some live music happening courtesy of Alpha Jiri Band. Uh, so we're going to cross over there and uh, continue with 10.05. <laughs>